Not Miss Mary, I am not sexually active. I am a virgin. But sometimes, my vagina has this fishy smell and it's inchy. What could be the cause? I am not sexually active. I can't even speak to my mom or doctor about it because they would think I am sexually active and I am a spoiled. These are the messages I get from teenagers and also young ladies. Good day everyone and welcome back to Nurses Lecture Room YouTube channel. My name is Miss Mary, popularly known as a nurse with the difference and I make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers. Today, I'm going to be telling us the difference between sexually transmitted infection and non-sexually transmitted infection because not all infection are caused by sex. So if you are a young lady and you have been bothered and you have been pet up about this, this is for you. If you are a mother, this is for you. If you are a father, this is for you. Because your girl child might need this advice so they understand and they don't feel guilty or they don't feel shy to talk to you. But before we go into the details, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all my returning subscribers, I am saying thank you. Let's go over there. Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, I'm going to be making a short video as much as I can to explain the difference between sexually transmitted infection and non-sexually transmitted infection. As the name implies, sexually transmitted infection. It simply means for me to get this infection, there has to be a sexual intercourse. Why the order is what? Non, sorry, non-sexually transmitted infection. As the name imply, you don't need to even have sexual intercourse for you to get this infection. It's just a simple logic. Sexual means sex is involved. Non-sexual simply means you don't need sex to get this infection. Most ladies complain that they are young, they are vibrant, they are not sexually active, but yet they keep having vaginal inching and also um, foul smell from their vagina. And what should be coming to your mind is bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis. Bacterial vaginosis is not caused by sexual intercourse. Bacterial vaginosis that affects female is not caused by, um, by sexual intercourse. And also, thrush, which is a, a fungal infection, is not caused by sexual intercourse. And most young ladies go down with this, thinking that there's something wrong with them, thinking that um, there's a possibility someone had sex with them without knowing. I've, I've gotten a question like that. Is it possible someone had sex with me without knowing and transferred infection that makes my vagina inchy? It, it, that could be wrong. That could be totally wrong. I'm going to explain what causes this too, so you don't get disturbed. You see, bacterial vaginosis, bacterial vaginosis is not caused by what sex, sexual intercourse. It could be as a result of an overgrowth of bacteria in your vagina like i will always tell women your body is complicated your vagina has bacteria yes it's designed to be there it has a good bacteria which is known as lactobacilli lactobacilli it's a normal bacteria that should be in your vagina it is there it's helping you to keep your ph of your vagina it's helping you to do some cleaning it's helping you to do some maintenance that's a good bacteria that is found in your vagina so normally this good bacteria is ought to supersede the bad bacteria, which are the anaerobic bacteria so when there's an overgrowth of the anaerobic bacteria in your vagina it can cause bacterial vaginosis and for people or, uh, or young ladies that have reduced lactobacilli that can predispose them towards bacterial vaginosis so they don't need to have sexual intercourse for them to go down with bacterial vaginosis i don't know if you get now so when the bad bacteria outgrow the good bacteria in your vagina it can result in what bacterial vaginosis that causes this fishy smell and inchy that makes you worried that makes you disturbed and the good thing is that it is treatable with antibiotics 
So it's not something you should be worried about. It's not something you've been disturbed. Same thing with thrush. Thrush is caused by fungi. And like I said in my previous video, fungi is naturally in your vagina. You can see there are bacteria that should be in your vagina. There are fungi that should be in your vagina. But when there's an imbalance, when they finally start disturbing the pH, when they start altering the pH of the vagina, it results in the infection you see. So it doesn't necessarily mean you had sex in the dream. It doesn't necessarily mean you had sex with someone or someone slept with you without knowing, making you feel that you have sexually transmitted infection. What I advise young ladies like that are worried about things like this happen frequently, recurrently, is for them to practice good personal vaginal hygiene. That please always keep it clean. Avoid unnecessary irritants. Like I always tell you, change your panties, put on good cotton pants. That is going to go a long way to help you avoid douching, douching your vagina, dipping a lot of things inside the vagina. That will go a long way to prevent those non-sexually transmitted infection. I hope that answered your question for the student, for the particular um, viewer that asked this question. Then sexually transmitted, it's gotten from infection. When I have sex with somebody that has the infection, definitely I'm going to get it. When you have sex with somebody that has a particular infection, you're going to get it. That's why it was sexually transmitted. And I believe we all are familiar with it. Like your um, trachomoniasis, your chlamydia, your herbs, your HIV, gonorrhea, syphilis. These are all sexually transmitted infection. And it needs to be sexual intercourse for you to go down with it. I hope this short video helped you understand the difference between sexually transmitted infection and non-sexually transmitted infection in ladies so you don't get confused. And in all, when you see your doctors, they prescribe the good antibiotics for you, especially for the young ladies that are complaining that they are having itching and foul smell. They, don't, they, prove, they give you good antibiotics that are able to eradicate, that are able to cure it, reduce the itching and prevent the foul smell. So if you are in that shoe, kindly you see a doctor, get a good prescription and sort yourself out. It's not something you should be worried. Please and please, for the healthcare practitioners, for the mothers, please give your daughters an open ear. Don't be quick to judge them. Don't be quick to feel that they've involved in sexually transmitted. They've involved in sexual intercourse that results in sexually transmitted infection. Please and please, our young girls, our young daughters, they need health education. They need you as a mother to explain this to them so they don't end up disturbed and getting worried unnecessarily about these things. Mothers, please educate your daughters. Fathers, educate your daughters. There's nothing bad in it. There's nothing bad with a father sitting the daughter. I know it looks kind of, oh, it's a woman's job. But if you have the opportunity as a dad, educate these young teenagers so they don't end up being misled by people, by their, by their peer pressures outside. Because when their peer pressures start giving them advice, they tend to follow it and forget about what you have to say and forget about the good things you have to tell them. So I'm begging parents to always teach their teenagers because I feel bad, I feel hot when i see them coming to me with things that should necessarily not bother them with things that their parents should have taught them so mothers do your part and also young ladies that is the importance of social media make do of it and be sure to see your doctor don't be too shy your health is your priority always ask questions Always visit your healthcare provider if you are not sure on what step to take. Don't assume and follow the crowd. I beg of you, your health is of paramount importance. Your health is more important than your pride. So bring down your pride, go to your healthcare provider and get answers to your solutions. Thank you very much for staying tuned. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value. For all my returning subscribers, I am saying thank you. If you are a nursing student, to be specific, and you are not on our classes on Telegram, you are missing a lot. All you have to do is to send a message to the WhatsApp number showing on your screen so you can have access to all our voice notes, which is going to help you prepare properly for the nursing and middle fee counseling exams. Thank you and have a wonderful day ahead. See you in class. Bye.